on the line, I have an artist that is super unique to the game, dope MC in her own lane, and she goes by the name of Brittany Cotta. How you feeling? I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling, feeling great. Having a great day. How that's, you doing? That's good to hear. I'm doing pretty good. You know, uh, uh, I can't complain. It's the holiday season right now, so you know, it's a little, uh, it's a little hectic. <laughs> Understood. How you been holding up the, uh, during the holiday season as of now? I've been staying in the crib. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can't really do much, you know, can't travel. So I just been staying at home. Um, I just, well, I'm actually about to join like a book slash like wine club. So we're going to be having like Zoom meetings, um, you know, during the month. So that's tight. That's funny to hear that. So <clears throat> you're going to be getting tipsy while reading. Hopefully you'll be able to Hopefully make it. Hopefully that goes well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, invite me out. I would love to drink some wine and see if I could make it through a chapter or two. <laughs> we definitely will. I'll send the invite out. <laughs> now, you know, on the music side of things, uh, I want to know, before the music, who was Brittany Carter? Um, pretty much the same, uh, same person. I like to read. Um, I like to play video games. Um, I like spending time with my family. That's, that's. Nothing has really changed. Okay. Just the music. <laughs> so even with you, you making music, you don't see no no, no type of change, like like mentality wise. Um, I mean, as far as music goes, or just outside of music. As far as music goes, like since you've jumped into the music game and you know things been working out for you, how have you seen your mentality change uh, on that aspect? Um, more so just figuring out um like what success means to me it's so crazy i was just in like um what is it called the, the clubhouse and yeah. we were i was like in some some type of meeting where artists were talking about how i don't know like how we often compare ourselves to other people when you know we aren't really other people we got to figure out like what what success means for us so what is success uh to you making time for the stuff I love while also like being able to, to, to create music and doing like the things I love. Now, um, you know, uh, I, I also would like to know, and I'm pretty sure our audience would like to know as well, you know, what's some ultimate goals besides music? Um, I want to, I want to, I want to write books. Um, possibly like recreate some of my favorite books and like into film. I think that'd be tight. Mm. Um, so th that's probably something like in the near future or may maybe in the like, like the next like 10 years or something that I'll be look to, looking to do. I would love to see like an autobiograph, something on the side of that, you know, a documentary. I, I see that'd that be, happening. Yeah, I that'd be dope. Because like, you know, listening to, to your music in general is it's pretty much like your storytelling. You know what I'm saying? And just the, the way you dig in deep to share your feelings within your music to me, it's is gonna, it shines. It shines and uh, a lot of people enjoy it, myself. Uh, we've been playing your music heavy over here at Vocalo and yeah, you have, you have a very dope storytelling side. And I was listening to um, a track on your project, As I Am. Before I speak on uh, this record, break down As I Am for our listeners. Um, it wasn't really a deep meaning behind it. Uh, I went through a, a series of different um, like titles for the project. I wasn't really sure what the name of it was going to be. Like I had all these songs that sound similar and I was still trying to figure out exactly what I wanted like this first project to be like, or what, what I wanted it to say. Um, the songs were like bits and pieces of like who I was. And so the title made sense. Listening to, to the records on the, on the project, I'm like, yo, this really suits you well. You're really telling your side of who you are. And I'm listening to track two, which is uh, I Ain't God. And you said something that stood out to me. You said your reputation is on the line right now. And hearing you say that, I'm like, you know, you, you, you still, you're getting your name out there. And to hear you say that your reputation is on the line, I just want to know why do you feel that way? Um, who knows when I, when I wrote that, like, <laughs> but I, I guess um, it was just like, this is my, this is my first project out, you know? So it, it, it has to say something, you know, I didn't want to just put out anything. And I feel like, like being an MC, your first project says a lot. Like I'm looking at all of my, my favorite artists that I listened to growing up and I'm just like, okay, like I can't just put out anything. I had, I had scrapped a whole like project that I was working on previously to this one. 
um because like it just didn't it didn't meet like my standards and I was like okay we gotta we gotta start over so you telling me you got a whole nother set of songs on the side that you I, just I never yeah they're probably like never gonna drop I it was early on <laughs> it was really early on so how many songs in total did you record for as I am um I recorded the the nine just the nine so not even including the tracks you're not releasing yeah it's okay I recorded those nine. Like I picked the instrumentals for those. Like those were the the instrumentals that I was I was set with, and that's I like started like brand new with those nine. Got you. Now, um, you also on track eight. You uh spoke on happened so fast. Uh, you know, a lot has come your way. You know, with things coming your way, do you ever find yourself? I guess I'm not gonna say fearing what's coming, but do you feel you prepared for the success coming your way? Um, yeah, I think it was more so of me just being in my own head. Like, like we had a conversation about just me being perfectionist. Like, I always want everything to be perfect. And so I'm, I'm understanding now that, like, I have control over, like, what I can put out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to accept every interview. I don't have to accept every feature. I don't have to. It's really just all in my hands, you know. And I, I, I guess as I grow, like, as an artist, I'm starting to realize that even more. Like, as I, like, figure out what success means to me, I, I don't really have to like go by like anybody else's rules. Like, ain't no rules to this. It's <laughs> true. That's that's certainly true. I, I love that response because that's true. It's all we control our destiny, and you definitely been controlling yours. And the music is there now. Overall, you know, what do you want supporters? What do you want fans? Especially, what do you? What would you like for our listeners to uh, you know, gain from your debut album? I just know that I, I'm a lover of music and not just like hip hop, just music in general. I listen to about pretty much everything. Um, but I just, I just love music and it, it feels good to know that like people like mess with the lyrics and are just supporting it. it. It feels real good to like be able to do what I do and like know that people are still supporting. Uh, I also want to ask, you know, what really helped you push this project out as far as like what was the influences that you was around and things of that nature that really motivated you to to lock in and get things done man my team like navarro played like a huge role um shout out to navarro um <laughs> he's just he really helped uh me uh individually like as far as like the recording process goes that was like really easy you know what i'm saying like i had a space to go and record I had somebody, uh, Noe, shout out to Noe. He mixed the whole project. And yeah, like that, that was that was really all I needed. I felt like um to I just needed a team, you know. I feel like it's a it's a lot, of, you know, I could have did on my own, but I could do even more like when you you know, when I have people there like supporting and willing to help. And then also let people know where they could find you as well as how they can get this project as well. Okay. All right, so all I want um, is about, like, I have a line in there that says, like, all I want is feeling, but the feeling never lasts. So it's like F-I-L-L, -L, but, like, the feeling never lasts. So, like, I'm, I'm having all of these, like, vices, like, whether it's, like, drinking or, like, whether it's smoking or whatever. And I got all these things that, like, I'm trying to use to, like, mask, like, what I really feel when it's not really feeling me, you know, at the end of the day. And so that's kind of, like, what the, what the song was talking about. Um, and y'all can find me on Twitter, IG underscore Brittany Carter. So that's B-R-I-T-T-N-E-Y -T Carter. And uh, lastly, what can they get this project at, Brittany? Yeah, you can go everywhere, man. Apple Music, Spotify. You can go to the link on my, in my bios. It's all there. Thank you, Brittany, for uh, taking out time and uh, chopping it up with me. I appreciate you.